1957, Mercury founder Carl Kiekefer purchased this, Lake X, as a place where he could keep all his racing developments a secret. Well, we just found out that Mercury has a big secret, and they've invited us here to the same place they've tested every single outboard since 1984 to spill the beans on what they're calling the biggest and most innovative outboard they've ever made. But what Mercury had been keeping under wraps was even bigger than we had imagined. I'd like to introduce the Mercury 7.6 liter V12 600 horsepower outboard Murado. The first thing you notice about this motor is its size. 7.6 liters of displacement, weighing in at 1,260 pounds, dwarfing anyone who stands beside it. To fit in 12 cylinders, it would have to be massive. But as big as it looks in the showroom, it fits perfectly on the transom of today's massive center consoles. Make no mistake, this isn't just bigger is better. Look closer and you'll see that Mercury has packed in a bunch of industry firsts that make the 600 Verado its most innovative outboard ever. From a steerable gear case, the first in the outboard industry, to a two-speed transmission, to new digital throttle and shift, extended maintenance, unbelievable performance. We're just having the time of our life out here. We went back to the drawing board with this one and really listened to the customers, OEMs, dealerships, to really understand what they are looking for in this engine. Higher speed cruise, great fuel economy, and that's really what this was built around. With the propellers, we went to counter-rotating propellers to really get the blade area for these big, heavy boats to get a lot of vertical lift and also to accelerate the boats. If we step back and really look at how we then develop this, we start with a two-speed gear case. So the two-speed transmission really gets us the ability to pop these boats out of the hole, get the bow down so that they're cruising and much more comfortable about accelerating the boat. When we get to second gear, you know, we can power shift all the way so that the engine continues to make power, the boat keeps accelerating right to redline. So once you take that shifting and move it outside the gearbox into effectively a transmission, it's not much harder to add another gear. With the two-speed, we have wet clutches, so when you go out in the boats, you won't feel these things shift. Unless you're watching the tack, you won't know they shift. And it's the same thing in joystick or right at the docks. When the clutches are engaging, they're engaging softly. When we make these big engines, you know, 7.6 liter, it takes up a lot of room on the transom. With those boats, we still want to get a lot of horsepower in the back to really move these boats near 80 mile an hour. So with that, we went to a steerable gear case. That steerable gear case allowed us to put the engine still in 27 inch centers, but be able to really deliver the control, precision control that the uh, boat operators wanted. If you haven't experienced it yet, Get on a boat, experience it. I think you're in for an eye-opening experience. Well, that sounds like a great idea. For its launch, Mercury lined up six of its biggest and baddest manufacturing partners to show off just what this motor can do. I hopped on board a 2021 Boston Whaler 420 Outrage, packing triple 600s to get my first feel for the new power. We putted out past the iconic observation tower with just the hum of the engines in our ear. Engines are still on. You cannot hear a thing. This is 600 horsepower. It feels like they're off. It is incredible. It's even quieter than our current V8 Verado. We've made a massive investment, over $12 million into our new NVH center. We have two semi-anechoic chambers where we can do sound testing. And an engine like this, it really takes that level to be able to hear every single error state to understand what's the issue and fix it. And that's ultimately when you get out on the boats, you hear it. It is just pure refinement. You know, everything to how the door shuts, just like in a car. We want the, the service lid to shut. It just really screams quality, and it's well thought through. Of course, I had to get a feel for all this power, so first chance I got, I jumped behind the wheel of the 420 Outrage. What do you think I'm gonna feel here with this dual-speed transmission when we're accelerating? Well, one of the first things that, it's just how instantaneous the lift and, and forward movement of the boat is. The other item is that, you know, you're getting right to speed pretty quickly. So, uh, you know, you're getting right into your cruise, into the comfort level for, for the entire cruise. Yeah. So, those are things that you're gonna experience right away. Um, you may or may not feel the transmission. It, uh, it's a load sensing transmission, so it'll shift when it determines that it's right for the engine, so there's no predetermined shifting point. Right. So these things, um, all of these things in combination, 
basically are just going to give you an effortless experience throttling up the boat. I'm all about effortless, so let's give it let's a shot. With three pairs of counter-rotating props, the whaler hops up on top of the water right out of the hole shot. The two-speed transmission is a game changer with this type of power. With a 20% reduction in gear ratio, first gear pushes the boat out of the hole. When it settles onto plane, the motors shift into second automatically, dropping RPMs for better fuel economy at speed. You wouldn't know it unless you were looking down at the tachometer, though. The shift is so smooth, you literally feel nothing. It all works to accelerate this 32,000 pound load from zero to 30 in just over eight seconds, and up to a top speed of 63 miles per hour. Coming up, we'll see just how much speed we can get out of these 600 Verados and what it means for the future of boats. 600 horsepower in the industry's first V12 outboard. Our first question, why do we need this much power in an outboard? Boats are getting bigger. Some of these boats uh, up to 50,000 pounds and above so instead of getting five or six outboards on the back, now you can do it easily with three or four. It is an impressive, impressive outboard. Just standing next to it, you can see its size. You know, it's imposing. But when you get on the back of a 50-foot, 60-foot boat, it's the right size, and it really fits in really beautifully with these boats. Typically, when people think outboards, they've got this old preconceived notion of what an outboard is. And the reality of it is the outboards, they're super quiet, they're fuel efficiency. Um, they're just an amazing setup on the power plant. These new 600s with the V12, uh, you know, they've got an access port for maintenance. So you don't have to take the cowling off for the first 1,000 hours. Under joystick control, we can pivot these 45 degrees. So it gives a lot more authority versus a standard 30 degree. The whole outboard's not moving quickly with under joysticking, it's just the gear case. So you don't feel the boat jumping back and forth as these engines are rocking. They're just rock solid. This is our brand new Tierra Yachts 48 LS. So this is the largest in our LS lineup, purposefully designed and built around the new Mercury 600 engines. Considerations for accessibility to the water. The fact that the engines don't move gave us the ability to make the swim platforms extra wide. So ease of water off both sides of the boat. It gives you a tremendous amount of authority around the dock with the joystick. And then we get all the performance. This boat goes 60 miles an hour. This brand new Mercury propulsion package is the only propulsion package for this product. Well, this is uh, an amazing new boat that we crafted. It's a 500 SSC, so it's in the family of our super sport crossovers. This one came together after uh, about two and a half years of planning and the, almost two and a half years of knowledge of these amazing engines that you see right here. We really needed those engines to make this package come together. So when we had the opportunity, when we knew this was coming, uh, we were really excited. And it's a little bit freaky at first because you're in a turn, and the motors aren't turning, but you're turning, but it's all like a little pod drive thing going on down at the bottom. Acceleration curve is incredible, and we just dropped down to second gear, and you, you, know, you don't even feel it. <laughs> We're already up to 60? This is 74 miles an hour. It didn't feel like we were going over 25. That is crazy. You forget how fast you're going in this Valhalla V46 until you step out from behind the console, and the wind almost knocks you back. But I don't think COVID's going to catch us out here. Uh, Lake X, the history here is just unbelievable. Back in 1957, Carl Kiefer bought it for secrecy. He didn't want other people to see what was going on. Just the history of Mercury tied to Lake X, all the things that came around here. I think Carl would be smiling right now if he saw a 600 horsepower V12 running up and down this lake. We just need it a little bit longer, though. <laughs> when Mr. Key Kafer had Lake X, you know, we were dealing with 30 horsepower engines. And, you know, it's, yeah, it'd be awesome to understand what Mr. Key Kafer would think about 600 horsepower. I knew we were going to move forward. The jump to 600 horsepower is really, you know, a great thing. It surprised us, but we could clearly see where the boats were going. It's been interesting to follow the evolution of the outboard motor from its humble beginnings right through to the groundbreaking new Mercury 600 V12. Looking at where we are, we can't wait to see what the future has in store for boating. Thanks for coming along for the ride. We're gonna spray the room, that's what we call it now. Spray the room? Spray the room. <laughs>